everyone, this is the last word and I'm Maria Shakil. The unity of India opposition bloc has suffered back-to-back setbacks within hours, with the Aam Aadmi Party declaring that it will contest all Lok Sabha seats in Punjab shortly after Trinamool Congress chief Mamata Banerjee ruled out any alliance with the Congress in West Bengal. In both Bengal and Punjab, attacks and counter-attacks between the Congress and the ruling party have continued over the past few months, despite claims of unity at India meetings. The unravelling of the alliance comes amidst the much-hyped second leg of Bharat Jodo Yatra of Rahul Gandhi. Mamta Banerjee today also attacked the Yatra, saying that she has nothing to do with the Yatra as she was not kept in loop ahead of the Yatra entering her state. This coming after Nitish Kumar and Akhilesh Yadav have questioned the necessity of a single party Yatra with just weeks to go for elections. Remember, the Congress had pitched the Yatra as the great unifier for the opposition and had said that all the alliance leaders have been invited to join. First the story, then I bring in the guests. Another day of the Bharat Joro Nya Yatra for Rahul Gandhi, but the Congress's crucial allies appear to be walking away. Just months before the crucial Lok Sabha election. In a double whammy for the party, crucial India bloc allies, Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee and Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Man. announced that there would be no tie-up for the TMC and Ahmadmi party with the Congress for the election. In Bengal, Mamta Banerjee is reportedly furious at the Congress's local leadership, particularly Lok Sabha MP Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, the state unit boss, who is fiercely opposed to an alliance with the Trinamool and has repeatedly attacked Mamata Banerjee. The Bengal Chief Minister also hit out at Congress MP Rahul Gandhi and his Bharat Jodo Nyayatra. Twenty-four hours ago, so to say, Mamta Banerjee told party men that the Congress was making an unjustified demand of contesting from at least 10 to 12 seats in West Bengal. She told the party men she had offered the party two seats that it already held, pointing to its abysmal performance of four seats in 2014 and just two seats in the last election in 2019. Responding to Mamta Banerjee's outburst, top Congress leaders claim differences with the TMC would be sorted out. Mamta Banerjee is the senior most leader of India Alliance Party. We are respectfully saying that if there is any concern in her mind, we will try and we will discuss and settle it. Here and there, there may be some issues. Finally, we will follow every issues. We are ready to address out that things. But hours later, a back-to-back setback. With the Aam Aadmi Party reiterating that it will contest all 13 Lok Sabha seats in Punjab. Desh mein Punjab bane ka hero. 2024 mein Lok Sabha chunaam mein Aam Aadmi Party ke paksh mein 13 jiro. Mamta Banerjee ne Delhi chhau lagne ki hoshna. Dekho ye to unka kaam hai. Ye Mamta Banerjee. Nee nee koi baat nee wo. हो सकता है कोई उनके साथ बातचीत चल रही हो उस लेवल पे लेकिन पंजाब में हम ऐसा नहीं करने वाले पंजाब में कांग्रेस हमारा कुछ the decision by Aam Aadmi Party and Trinamool to go solo in their strongholds needs to be seen against the backdrop of the persistent tussle between the Congress and regional forces in India bloc while regional parties, specifically the Trinamool, Aam Aadmi Party and the Samajwadi Party have repeatedly demanded the leading role in their bastions, the Congress has pushed for a bigger pie during seat-sharing talks at the state level. The big question now, how can the India bloc sort out the seat-sharing mess? With Mohammad Ghazali in Chandigarh, Saurabh Gupta, TV. 
Sri Tyagi, spokesperson of the JDU, Dr. Shatarupa representing the BJP. We have Mohammad Tawseef Rahman of the TMC. Professor Badri Narayan is a political analyst. Rashid Kidwai, senior journalist. Before I bring in the politicians, I want to understand from you, Rashid Kidwai, uh, is the Congress giving a free run to the state leadership in Bengal? Because the kind of statements that have been made by Adhiranjan Chaudhary are certainly provocative. That perhaps is the reason why Mamta Banerjee has gone ahead and made that announcement. Yes, Maria, you're right. But this is a posturing. This is hard bargaining. I mean, every political party has a right to, you know, practice uh, its, uh, you know, political uh, needs and requirements. You look at Mamta Banerjee, the number of people uh, who have been, you know, brought from the Congress to Tranamool is like, the list is endless. The entire Tranamool party actually has roots in the Congress. So therefore, this cannot be the ground. The real grudge of Mamta Banerjee is that she's not being heard. She propped up Malik Arjun Kharge as a, you know, presidential candidate. The Congress CWC did not even endorse it. Then Mamta came up with another proposal that let uh, Kharge be the uh, uh, chairman of India Alliance. Even that was vetoed. So Mamta now realizes it is Gandhis who own the political leadership of the Congress and they are not, they are not interested. But if they are not interested in 2024, this is Mamta's way of, you know, communicating. And just one last thing, Maria, it will not be just isolated thing. As you said in the beginning of the program, Aam Aadmi Party plus Samajwadi Party, it's an informal block that's going to put pressure. It is, you know, compulsion, political compulsions have brought this alliance together. It is Congress duty to heed to them. Therefore, I feel next 24 hours or 48 hours are extremely crucial. Otherwise, not only Tranamool, the entire India alliance will collapse. So you are of the opinion that it hasn't really collapsed till now. It could collapse. And this is essentially hard bargaining which is happening. Uh, Professor Badri Narayan, would you be as optimistic as Rashid uh, to say that this is just bargaining? Or are you of the opinion that it has reached a point of no return? I think it's uh, certainly a kind of bargaining. But this bargaining is not going to lead anywhere because... Uh, there, may, there may be no, uh, I don't see any point of convergence of the ideas, a convergence of the views. And you know, it is, they, are, uh, they have their own compulsions, compulsions of saving their own ground. But, uh, uh, but when they will fight uh, separately in each state, they can't compete with the BJP. And it will be loss for Congress because Congress always uh, may, may gain in elections when they are, it will be one to one fight no it's between two parties hmm. when it will become triangular or 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 four cor four cor four corner i think bjp will uh, get uh, benefit out of that and you know maria uh, though the negative neg the negative votes of others like someone wants to defeat mamta in bengal they will come to the bjp uh, because bjp has emerged as a very strong magnetic pole and the negative votes of others will converge with the BJP, but negative of others uh, will become positive votes up for the BJP. And that will happen in, in, in Uttar Pradesh also. Like uh, the Mayavati, when Mayavati took a stand that I will go alone, people started saying, look, this is ED fear and this and that fear. But they don't understand the kind of compulsion my, my Mamta is facing, the same kind of compulsion Mayavati is facing. She has to also save her ground, her, her, her own uh, what base? That's right. And, and, but so, in saving in the politics of saving of the base vote, they are going to lose the election, the bigger cause, because there is a no. कहाँ का ईट कहाँ का रोड़ा भानुपति ने कुंबा जोड़ा, but there is a no भानुमति to जोड़ना to कुंबा जोड़ने के लिए. So problem of the भाई भानुमति और भानुमति होगा. That's a big problem. Yes, that's right. But that is the role that uh, Mamta Manaji and uh, Nitish Kumar and others are not ready to give to the Congress because they feel that the Congress party doesn't really deserve it and it doesn't really have that appetite to take on the BJP. Tawasif, uh, my question is, uh, you know, Mamta Banerjee was rather purely direct that there is no room left for any kind of uh, reconciliation or going back. What really is the understanding within the party that going alone would be a better deal than fighting along with a left and the Congress in, in these elections? Uh, good evening, Maria. Maria, first of all, you have to see the larger spectrum that uh, with whom we are fighting. We are fighting with someone who's against the democracy and 
you know killing all the human rights so the the main agenda is that everyone should stand together and fight and this seat sharing from day one mamta banerji wanted to give some kind of proposal but i won't say she was rejected but she was unheard and she was not counted that the proposal now from day one if you think if you see uh, the discussion between the regional parties and some uh, personal grudges between the congress tmc and uh, jdu rjd i mean they were there but we always said that these things will be cleared and we will stand united but now if you see when you started the debate like adhir ranjan choudhry's speech is kind of very provocative and plus it stands nowhere i mean we are into india alliance as well now rahul gandhi is passing through bengal we have no information we have no idea when is he coming i mean everyone knows when is he coming but there is no official uh, delegation coming to trinamool yeah there is no and official delegation that is the coming, similar coming concern that college. that the jdu has kesi tyagi is joining us kesi tyagi mamta banerjee says that she will fight alone uh, punjab chief minister is saying that aam aadmi party will be contesting on all the seats in punjab alone and in the past we had seen nitish kumar also express concerns over the bharat jodo yatra he had said ye timing sahi nahi hai what is the need for a bharat jodo yatra if there is one party which is going on a yatra and other parties are supposed to be just you know waiting and watching for the yatra to be complete because it's the end of the month we are you know the january has come to an end and uh, there's still no clarity as to which party will be contesting on how many seats dekhi mara ji hum log jo hain is gathbandhan ke producer hain nirmata hain aap yaad karo ab se 1.5 saal pehle jab hisar mein meeting hui thi jisme tejasvi nitish ji the unke sath main bhi tha तब तीसरा मोर्चा बन रहा था गैर कांग्रेसी गैर बीजेपी उसमें ममता दीदी थी अखिलेश यादव जी थे और अरविंद केजरीवाल थे और के चंद्रशेखर राव थे नीतीश कुमार देश के पहले पॉलिटिकल लीडर थे जिन्होंने इस अवधारणा को कैंसिल किया कि कोई तीसरा मोर्चा भी बन सकता उन्होंने कहा नहीं हम पहला मोर्चा बनाएंगे एक और उन्होंने कहा कि कांग्रेस पार्टी के बगैर कोई एनडीए का बीजेपी का कारगर विकल्प नहीं बन सकता उसके बाद लालू जी को लेकर के वो सोनिया जी से मिले राहुल गांधी जी से मिले तीन चार महीने तक जब कोई गतिविधि और कोई सिम्टम्स नहीं आया पॉजिटिविटी का तो नीतीश कुमार जी ने पटना में सभी दलों को परसुएट करके बुलाया एंड ही गोट सक्सीड वाइल मेकिंग अरविंद केजरीवाल ममता बनर्जी और मुलायम अखिलेश यादव अलोंग विद सोनिया जी खड़के जी एंड राहुल गांधी तो हम तो इसके प्रोड्यूसर है हमें बहुत कष्ट हो रहा है ये नीतीश कुमार जी ने अब से डेढ़ महीने पहले कहा था जो हमारे कांग्रेस के मित्रों को बुरा लगता है ये टाइम ना यात्रा का है ना कहीं जाने का है ये जॉइंट पब्लिक मीटिंग करने का है कैंडिडेट छाटने का है कैंडिडेट का जो चयन होता है पोलिटिकल सिस्टम में सबसे महत्वपूर्ण होता है उसी को लेकर के ममता दीदी अलग हो गई है और उससे पहले अजीत अधीर रंजन चौधरी वहां पे प्रेसिडेंट रूल की डिमांड कर रहे थे आर्टिकल 356 के मिस के हम खिलाफ हैं और आपकी पार्टी का नेता जो नेता विरोधी दल बना हुआ है वो कह रहा है कि आर्टिकल थ्री वो ये लगा दीजिए केजरीवाल जी से मेरी भी कई महीने पहले बात हुई थी टू विच ही एग्रीड की दिल्ली में कर रहे थे तीन चार तीन चार चार तीन पंजाब में फिर अब अलग हो गए तो हम तो इस पर कष्ट में है कि हमारा हुआ बनाया हुआ गठबंधन विच वॉज वेरी आर्टिकुलेट वो किस तरह से टूट रहा है तो बेहतर हो कि कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेताओं से भी आप पूछे कि भी ऐसा क्यों कर रहे हैं राइट right. हरियाणा मध्य प्रदेश राजस्थान छत्तीसगढ़ हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड कर्नाटका और तेलंगाना में खबरदार अगर किसी ने जिक्र किया एक भी सीट मांगने का लेकिन उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार तमिलनाडु चेन्नई सॉरी पश्चिमी बंगाल उसने उनको अरविंद केजरीवाल पार्टी अलोन इन पंजाब दे आर ऑल ब्रॉट टूगेदर इज देर एन ऑप्शन ऑफ दैट नेचर इवन लेफ्ट नाउ देखिए ऐसा है मारिया जी 
कि वो दोनों पार्टियों के ये बीच का मामला है याद करो ये हमारी ममता दीदी पूरी भरी बैठक में अशोका होटल में जो हुई थी पिछले दिनों उसमें खुद ही डिमांड कर रही थी कि प्रधानमंत्री का चेहरा बना दिया जाए खड़के साहब को देवर सो क्लोज टू ईच अदर तो वो उनके बीच का मामला है हम तो चाहते हैं ये तो हमारा बेबी है ये हमारा बच्चा हमने पैदा किया इसको हम इसकी दाई नहीं है हम इसकी माँ है और ये अच्छे फले फूले ठीक तरह से चले इसको कोई चोट लगती है हमें कष्ट होता है और मायरो जी अब तो इसमें घाव भी होने लगे हैं बजाय चोट के वी आर वेरी इज ऑल्सो इज नीतीश कुमार नेक्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू आस्क दैट इन जस्ट अ बिट बट बिफोर दैट लेट मी ब्रिंग इन डॉक्टर शत्रुपा डॉक्टर शत्रुपा you know the bjp can very well say that these were parties which was so, which which had so many differences that only defeat modi cannot be a reason for all of them coming together and that is the reason why it is unraveling the way it is but yeah uh, you know this is a day for us to say i told you so because uh, i've been constantly saying from the time that the first uh, uh, the meeting happened um all that we've been seeing are photo shoots and uh, you know people sitting next to each other and uh, very beautiful photo shoots in fact photo ops but beyond that we didn't really get any positive outcome and we didn't see any uh, leader or any policy or any decision coming out from there so we've never really been bothered in fact you've seen uh, uh, amit shah ji uh, in even just now i think on your show uh, pralad joshi ji was saying that there was never any real indi alliance when I mean, they just had a name now from uh, in bengal if you if you look at bengal right now uh, mamata banerjee for quite some time has been saying that she wants to do it alone yesterday it was the left's fault today she is blaming the congress yesterday she said that she herself had named uh, indi alliance in india and so, but but however she felt that you know in every meeting it was the cpm which was ruling the roost so she felt very bad then now today she is feeling very bad and very insulted with the way rahul gandhi is coming into west bengal how west bengal and not informing her so but then it is very right that even if uh, if a pre- if, a, if uh, the president or i don't know what he is right Dr. now Shatrupa, is the bjp in. also trying to woo in nitish because the announcement that came just 24 hours back has set the cat among the pigeons and uh, the entire political circles in patna are a buzz as to what will happen next particularly after uh, the central government has announced that they there that they will be awarding bharat ratna to karpuri thakur first that story and then i come back to the guest maria maria we i'm coming actually... back to you ma'am in sab logon ko hum anurodh karte rahe likhte rahe कि भाई जननायक कर्पूरी ठाकुर जी का भारत रत्न प्रदान किया जाए आप इस सब चीज मत कहिएगा कि हम लोगों की मांग थी आप खुद दे कहिएगा कि वही कर दिए हैं तो मुझे खुशी है मैं इसके लिए केंद्र सरकार को और प्रधानमंत्री जी को भी मैं बधाई देता हूं कि उन्होंने स्वीकार कर लिया in the air gesture nitish kumar thanking prime minister modi for the bharat ratna to former bihar chief minister karpuri thakur considered the architect of ebc politics in the country nitish's acknowledgement of the modi government's gesture has led to speculation of yet another turn in bihar politics proving nitish right prime minister narendra modi credited his party the bjp for giving karpuri thakur his due on his 100th birth centenary ये बीजेपी की हमारी सरकार का सौभाग्य है कि उसे जननायक कर्पूरी ठाकुर को भारत रत्न से सम्मानित करने का अवसर मिला बेहद गरीबी और सामाजिक असमानता जैसी चुनौतियों से लड़ते हुए वो राष्ट्र जीवन में बहुत ऊंचे मुकाम पर पहुंचे थे अनलाइक नीतीश हिज अलायंस पार्टनर इन बिहार दी आर जे डी वॉज मोर ब्लंट इन इट्स अटैक ऑन द बीजेपी कॉलिंग दी अवार्ड फॉर मिस्टर ठाकुर टू लिटल टू लेट एंड क्लेमिंग द बीजेपी वुड फेल इन इट्स अटेम्प टू वू दी बी सी दो ढाई साल पूर्व हमारे तेजस्वी जी ने पुरजोर तरीके से इस मांग को की थी इतना ही आग्रह है प्रधानमंत्री जी से कि हमने जातिगत जनगणना करवाई 
फिर आरक्षण का दायरा बढ़वाया इसे नौवीं सूची में शामिल करके वो सही श्रद्धांजलि होगी नहीं तो भारत रत्न सांकेतिक लगेगा माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी अति पिछड़ों की लड़ाई लड़ने वाले कर्पूरी जी को एक दूसरे अति पिछड़े के बेटे नरेंद्र मोदी ने भारत रत्न की उपाधि से सम्मानित करने का कार्य किया है लालू यादव नीतीश कुमार मांग करते थे कि भारत रत्न दिया जाए लेकिन जब स्वयं केंद्र में मंत्री थे तो क्यों नहीं दिलवा पाए और आज वो काम नरेंद्र मोदी ने कर दिखा दिया सेलिब्रेशन एट दी होम ऑफ कर्पूर ठाकुर इन समस्तीपुर After the award for Thakur the BJP is expected to woo non Yadav OBCs both in Bihar and neighboring UP. Back in Delhi Home Minister Amit Shah drove home the Messiah of backward classes card even making a chai wala connect. Daliton ka ek garib ke bete ka sanman isliye hua hai ki anek saalon ke baad phir se ek bar garib chai wale ka beta desh ka pradhan mantri ban kar gaya. Apne siddhanton ki rajniti karte hue जैसे राम बहादुर राय जी ने कहा गैर कांग्रेसवाद की राजनीति करते हुए अपने सिद्धांतों पर डटे रहना और जनता का हमेशा समर्थन प्राप्त करना साथ अर्थ में बहुत कठिन होता है बिहार जैसे राज्य में वहां पर भी इन्होंने कर कर दिखाया बिग क्वेश्चन रिमेन्स कैन द बिहार बीजेपी डिराइव एनी पोलिटिकल एडवांटेज विद मनीष कुमार एंड मारिया शकील ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट एनडी टीवी and uh, so with all these statements coming in from uh, the bjp and also rather interesting and uh, inquisitive comments coming in from the jdu what next is happening let me take that question to kc tyagi kc tyagi ji uh, can this bharat ratna be that force that can bring nitish kumar back into nda fold and he'll be the third india group member who could perhaps exit देखिए कर्पूरी ठाकुर जी हम लोगों के नेता रहे हैं सोशलिस्ट मोमेंट के और उन्होंने देश में गरीब और पिछड़ी जातियों के लिए जो 1978 में मुंगेरी लाल कमीशन के जरिए जो सोसाइटी में उन्होंने न्याय की बात की थी हमें प्रसन्नता है आज देश की सारी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी जिन्होंने उनको डीथ्रोन भी किया था चाहे वो बीजेपी हो चाहे कांग्रेस हो चाहे लेफ्ट हो 1978 में जब मुंगेरी लाल कमीशन की रिकमेंडेशन आई थी उनको अनसीटेड कर दिया था मुख्यमंत्री पद से आज वो सारी पार्टियां कर्पूरी का भी गुणगान कर रही हैं और आरक्षण का भी कर रही हैं ये कर्पूरी ठाकुर जेडी और उसके विचार की जीत है यू हैव स्टिल नॉट आंसर द क्वेश्चन दैट आई आस्क बट आई विल परहैप्स गो टू प्रोफेसर बद्री नारायण प्रोफेसर बद्री नारायण uh you know as i've been saying there is a lot of speculation particularly after two moves of nitish kumar last evening he put out a tweet and then deleted it the second one distinctly has a, a thank you to the prime minister today again he thanked the central government and prime minister modi this is quite unlike nitish shri nitish a uh, very difficult to understand what he's going to do in in future if you few months in one or in this ugly next month what he is going to do but i think he has a scope for both politics if he uh, stay with the india alliance now he has a potential to lead that because uh, rahul gandhi uh, the, the, the leadership is being questioned again and again in the india politics india i n d i a politics uh, there is no other uh, other who can lead it so uh, still nitish kumar has a hope for Uh, India politics, India opposition politics. No, but Mamata Banerjee uh, uh, herself has be... proposed the name of Mr. Kharge, which of course had uh, hurt Nitish so badly that he went ahead and sacked his party chief because he was not yeah, able but, to lobby strong enough. Lalan Singh. Yeah, but I think uh, Nitish has a potential to 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 uh, make to unite the party, the alliance. But he has he can shift to the BJP also. Uh, no one can deny in the. in the in the politics uh, anything can happen politics is the name of possibility hmm. game of possibility rather not name game of the possibility hmm. uh, we are uh, we are one can anything can happen but nitish has still is still nitish matter in the politics of india but uh, you know bjp uh, has proposed a different model of socialist politics and that is uh, there is a socialist politics in this mandal kind of politics which nitish and others were pursuing in bihar 
and there is a, another is the inclusive social justice politics which uh, corpuri thakur has had proposed and bjp is working on that line bjp is working to uh, to pursue this uh, so my question is badri narayan my politics. last question if the bjp is able to ensure that with this bharat ratna there is a significant shift in the ebc vote bank then why do they really need a nitish kumar yes indeed uh, you are very right actually bjp may not try to to, to take him back but you know politics uh, in politics each and everything matters if you take 5% vote like nitish kumar has his own image in bihar politics and that image is not only in ebc but in other communities also so he can bring a goodwill for the uh, for the bjp alliance from other communities but you know ebc uh, bjp is trying to evolve its own base vote among the mm. ebc uh, separate, separate from nitish influence right. and nitish side side with that so nitish will be always beneficial for the for the uh, nda politics yes perhaps but the only politician in the country who has the ability to move from left to right and rather do it uh, with everybody looking for reasons as to why he fits in this block or the that or the other block very well thank yeah. you so much kesi yeah. tagi dr chaturupa yeah. rashid kidwai mohammad uh, tawseef and professor badri narayan as we said that uh, he is a mercurial chief uh, chief minister a leader uh, whose political moves are being watched by one and all particularly after what happened last evening that's all from me thanks so much for watching